Hi everyone, welcome back to Technon Tech TV. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to draw a DFT diagram for railway reservation system. So let's start. A data flow diagram DFD for uh, railway reservation system typically outlines the flow of data within the system, showing how information moves between processes and external entities. So the overall railway reservation system is represented and described using input processing and output in DFD. So it uh, basically provides information about the inputs and outputs of uh, each processes and entity of railway reservation system such as uh, passenger, admin, payment gateway etc. This DFD diagram for the railway reservation system uses defined symbols that uh, present the system's processes. So there are several notations for displaying data flow diagrams. So I am using notations that is described by D. Marco and Jordan. First is external entities. So external entities are the entry and exit points for data entering and leaving the system. Entities are referred to as uh, terminator, sources, sinks and actors. Next is process. So process receives uh, input data and process output data with a different form or content. Every process has a name that identifies the function it performs. Next we have data store or we can say database. So database is a table that stores the files or repositories for future use. And last we have data flow. So data flow is the flow of data between external entities, processes and data stores. Now let's draw a zero level DFD diagram for railway reservation system. So the zero level DFD for railway reservation defines the overview of reservation system. It is supposed to be an abstract view of overall system. At level zero of a DFD flow diagram, you typically represent the entire system as a single process with uh, external entities. So this is also called as con context diagram. So there are two main external entities here. Uh, first is passenger and second is admin. Passenger uh, represents user interacting with the system to make reservation, check schedules, etc. And here admin represents staff managing the system, handling administrative tasks, etc. So now let's see the relationship between process and entity. So let's see the relationship between passenger, admin and railway reservation process. First is user registration. So it verifies user credentials uh, during login. Next is train schedule and seat availability. So here admin manages uh, information about train including schedules, routes and seat availability and give it to railway management system and railway displays train and seat availability information to passenger next we have uh, reservation so after viewing uh, train details and seat availability passenger initiate reservation and also passenger can cancel the initiated reservation and what railway management process will do is it will send all the reservation and cancellation information details to admin and last we have uh, payment info so once payment is done by the passenger then it will store in uh, railway management process and send it to admin now let's see level 1 dfd diagram so first level of the uh, dfd or data flow diagram shows more emphasis on the concept of a context diagram so this level is uh, considered the expanded version of the previous diagram so here i am adding four processes First is uh, user authentication. It uh, basically verifies user credentials during login. Next we have reservation process. So this process involves activities such as checking train availability, selecting seats, entering passenger details and making payment and updates the database accordingly. Next we have cancellation process. So this process handles the cancellation of reservations and refunds if uh, applicable and updates the database accordingly and fourth one we have uh, train management and seat availability process so this process manages uh, information about trains including schedules 
routes and seat availability so it basically updates the train schedule in the system database so all four processes are the sub processes of uh, railway management these sub processes comprise the important function of the system which completes the whole project so here i am taking two entities first is passenger it basically initiates the reservation process by providing necessary detail and next we have admin it manages the system including adding removing train updating schedules etc and we have four database first is user database it contains user account information like user names passwords and booking history next is reservation database it stores information about current reservation including passenger details seats book payment status etc and next we have cancellation database it records details of cancel reservation for refund processing and reporting purposes and last we have train management and seat info uh, database it basically stores information about trains including schedules routes seat availability etc now let's see how data will flow in this uh, diagram so first passenger will share its information to user authentication process and it will give user credential to passenger next both the information like passenger detail and its uh, credential will be stored in user database and similarly for admin first he or she will share its information to user authentication process and in return he or she will get uh, user credentials and same information will get stored in user database next what admin will do is it manages train schedule and seat availability and all this information is shared with the train management and seat availability process and the same information will be stored in train management and seat availability database next passenger will search for train and seat availability details so reservation process will request train and seat availability data from its database and in response db will share the information with reservation process and after that passenger will get update about uh, train and seat availability and uh, so after checking train and seat availability information passenger will book tickets and all the booking information will share to reservation process and it will get stored in reservation database and if passenger wants to cancel the tickets then that request will send to cancellation process and what cancellation process will do is it will send the confirmation with passenger and ticket cancellation record will stored in cancellation database so this is our uh, first level dfd diagram now next is second level dfd diagram so first level dfd of railway reservation system represent how the system is divided into sub system and here second level provides more detail about uh, the payment uh, system like so i am going to draw only one dfd diagram for level 2 you can draw multiple diagrams here i am going to draw dfd to show how booking payment and uh, refund process initiate in railway reservation system so basically it will show uh, payment flow in railway management system so here we have three process reservation cancellation and payment So first we have reservation process so i already explained the uh, use of reservation and cancellation process uh, that uh, reservation process involves activities such as checking train availability selecting seats entering passenger details and making payments and update the uh, database accordingly and cancellation process handles the cancellation of reservation and refunds if applicable and update the database accordingly and third we have payment process it basically processes uh, payment for reservation and cancellation and here we have uh, two entities passenger to initiates the reservation and cancellation process by providing necessary detail and next is uh, payment entity it basically facilitates uh, secure online transactions for ticket payments and we have three database reservation database to store details of reservation made including passenger information train details seat numbers etc 
and cancellation database to store the uh, details of cancel reservation for refund processing and reporting purposes and payment database to store uh, payment details for reservation now let's see how data will flow uh, in this diagram so first passenger will book ticket after ticket booking uh, booking information will send to passenger and payment entity and same uh, information will stored in uh, reservation database now what payment entity will do is it will send the payment details of reservation to payment process and payment process will send it to passenger so once passenger will receive the payment method he or she will complete the payment and then the uh, and then this payment information will get stored in payment database similarly for cancel ticket passenger will send cancel request and cancellation process will process it and send the confirmation to passenger and this cancellation details will get stored in cancellation database and also this information will send to payment entity so once the payment process uh, receive the cancel ticket information it will initiate the refund and refund amount will send to passenger and also this information will get stored in payment database so this is how you can draw different dfd diagram on different topics so this is just an example you can add various entities and different processes according to you that's it for this video if you have any doubt comment us below and if you found some value in this video then make sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up and do share this video with your friends to spread the knowledge and stay tuned for more videos